Yo, what's up guys? It's Raddy here, and as you read by the title of the video, we're talking about dry fasting today. When I first heard about dry fasting, I was like, this is the dumbest thing ever. Why would you go without drinking water? It makes sense to not eat food, let your body rest, heal itself. I've felt the benefits myself, but it just seemed absolutely ridiculous because I was one of those people that would drink water all day, you know, at least two to three liters a day. Still do, but... Um, there's definitely days where I experiment a lot more with dry fasting, 24s and 48s. And in my experience, what I've read, actually I'll tell you what my experience is first. Um, I used to have a lot of stomach problems and issues. And every time I would do a 48 hour dry fast, so I would be doing like OMAD one meal a day, Monday to Friday, then no food on Saturday, big meal on Sunday. And in that Friday to Sunday, I would do dry fasting. So no water either. And wow, there was a huge difference. Like going to the bathroom, way different after dry fasting. Just, and there's a lot of precautions. Like obviously the more you go without a dry, without water or food, like you should be careful with what you put in your system. Um, so this video is not about that at all right now. It's just my experience. And my experience is that it's fucking awesome. Uh, if you can get past the barrier of you're gonna die in three days, I don't believe that's true. I haven't pushed it for myself, but I've seen other people's videos where they do. Um, yeah, I'll just say it's like the craziest benefit I've ever had with my body, food, supplement, exercise, or anything else wise. My hormones feel better. I feel amazing after. That being said, the second night's sleep is absolutely horrible. So that Saturday night where you're hungry and thirsty is not a good feeling, but you push through it. And then the Sunday morning, you're like, oh, wow, my body feels so good. It's, uh, yeah, so that's my opinion, that's my experience. Here's, I don't wanna say the scientific facts, this is not scientific facts, but possible theories and explanations of what's happening. So one, if you're trying to lose weight, your, this kinda of goes down to that myth of 3,500 calories is a pound of fat. So if you don't eat 3,500 calories, you're gonna lose a pound of fat. The truth in reality is that it's not how it works everyone's fat cells hold a different amount of water in them. So the fatter you are, the more your fat cells store water in them versus someone who's lean, you're gonna have less, fat, less water in your fat cells. So let's say someone that's like 300 pounds overweight, wants to lose weight and is fasting already. If they go into a dry fast, when their body's dehydrated, it wants water. So it's gonna scour the body for water. And because their body fat has a lot of water in them, it's gonna start breaking it down faster. Theoretically, that's what's happening because you do lose weight faster. You definitely do lose a lot of water weight too, but in that process, your body needs to hydrate itself. So it's breaking down fat cells and any weak cells, so they say, um, it's called autophagy, where when you don't eat, and especially when you don't drink, your body is just scouring your body for resources and it's destroying old dying cells, potentially cancer cells or any diseases, and it's rebuilding itself um, new cells. So that's one idea. The other idea is that when you're not eating, okay, so we can break this down general fasting. When you're not, when you go to the gym, your body can dictate where blood flows by constricting and expanding blood vessels. So if I'm doing a bicep curl, my body's going to expand the biceps or the arms, veins, and arteries so that more blood can flow through so the more oxygen can be delivered to the tissue so that you can perform better. Same thing happens with your guts, your organs. When you're not working out, the vessels constrict in the peripherals and more blood goes towards the organs so that they can heal. So if we expand that, once you eat, a lot of blood goes towards your digestive system. So your stomach, your small intestine, your large intestine, all that stuff starts working not to heal itself, but to digest food. So a lot of blood and oxygen and energy goes to digesting the food as opposed to healing you. So when you take out the food, your blood and everything can just start healing. Theoretically, if you're not having to process water as well, then boom, you're saving that blood. You know, like let's say I'm drinking 500 milliliters every two hours. That's energy that my body has to take away now from healing itself, which most likely isn't the biggest deal, but in experience, like on paper, it's not the biggest, but in experience, it makes a big difference. And yeah, 
If you guys have any other thoughts, questions on dry fasting, I know this isn't really explaining how to do dry fasting, nor am I saying you should definitely do it. You know, do whatever you want. I'm not responsible for you and your life. I'm just saying my experiences and my thoughts. Um, yeah, be cautious if you're going to start, but hey, I really enjoy it. Oh, actually, I guess I might as well tell you how to... Ah, uh, that's a different video. I'll make another one, how to start dry fasting. Guys, leave me some questions, comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one.